People talk about slip discs. Can you please explain to us what one is? Yes, of course. So, um, when we talk about a disc, we're talking about the cartilage disc that lies between each spinal bone. And we're talking about the vertebra, which are alternated with the discs. Now, what I'd like to do is show you that a disc doesn't really slip out of its position, but uh, it actually degenerates. And I have some models here which will show you what happens. So, initially, we have a healthy disc. Inside, we have a gel. And around it, we have a fibrous coating. And as you can see, Here's the spinal bone called the vertebra and here's the next disc and it goes on like that and so forth. Uh, behind the disc we have the spinal cord and through these holes we have the spinal nerves which come out and are very close to the discs. This is a healthy one but with time, usually with repetitive trauma rather than one single event, the disc begins to degenerate and the first thing that happens is that the fibres around the disc um, tear a little bit. This leaves the jelly part in the middle a chance to come through and start poking into the, the fibrous gel area. At this stage there's no pain usually. The disc becomes a little bit thinner and it's beginning to degenerate. Then, as time goes by and we mistreat our backs a little bit more, maybe with one single bad move or with lots of small bad moves, the disc becomes even more degenerated and the gel sticks right out into the space where normally the spinal nerve would come out. And so then we have the, the disc irritating the spinal nerve and then we get the classical sciatica symptoms. So there you go, the disc is still in its normal place, but the gel has come out of position. And that's what people know, call a slip disc, but it isn't really a very accurate term. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.